adult men. So here we are up here. So adult men have heights with a mean of 69 inches, standard deviation 2.8. Find the height of a man with a z-score of that to four decimal places. Okay, so we're gonna need to use the z-score formula, which again is on the exam one notes on the Canvas course shell at the very top of unit one. So z-score equals what? Score minus mean over standard deviation. So now I'm going to say, okay, the z-score, they're telling me 2.1071. That goes right here. 2.1071. And on the other side, um, it, the mean, it tells me the mean is 69. So that 69.0. So that goes right there. The standard deviation, 2.8, that goes right there. What, what's the score? I don't know the score. Right, call that x. And that's what we're trying to solve for. We're going to have to solve a, an equation. We're going to use a little bit of algebra skills here. We don't do that very often in this class. But that's what we're going to need to do. So I plugged in the z-score which they gave me on the left side. So I'm using the formula, plugged in the Z, 2.1071, plugged in the score is X, the mean is 69.0, the standard deviation is 2.8. All right. Um, um, okay. So, um, oh, is my screen freezing today? Yeah, it's been consistently going on and off. Has that... Does that not happen the other days? Is this the first time this has happened? You don't usually freeze this much. Okay. Huh. Yeah. I don't know. My internet connection has just been a little less stable, it seems like, today for whatever reason. It's funny how that changes, huh, day by day. All right. Um, okay. So feel free to let me know if, you, if I need to repeat something for you. Now, Mr. Heron, what do you yeah. do if they give you a z-score of a negative? Uh, same thing. Just whatever. If they gave me negative, just put in the negative sign right there. Okay. You know, whatever whatever they give you. Right here. My, my thing is freezing up. There it is. Yeah, just put in whatever they got you. All right, so now we need to solve this equation. Um, in fact, I think I'm going to bring it down here. Let me bring it down here. 2.1071. So this is question. What number is this? Number six? Equals X minus uh, 69.0 over 2.8. Okay. All right. So I just bring it down here where we have a little bit more room. And now I need to solve that equation for x. How do you solve that equation for x? Well, first you multiply by the denominator. Remember, when solving equations, getting an x alone, you always have to do the opposite. So the opposite of dividing by 2.8 2 is multiply, and that cancels it out. And then on the other side, just use your calculator, 2.8 times 2.1071. And um, I'm getting 5.89988 equals x minus 69.0 because the 2.8s canceled out, right? Last step, just add the 69.0 to both sides. And I'm getting 74.89988. There we go. So let me bring that value back, 74.89988. Um, so there's how you solve that equation for x, coming back up here. So I got x equals. 74.89988. They want me to round to four decimal places. So I put a line after the fourth spot. This is an eight, which means bring that up, right? 
74.8999. So that's our answer. 74.8999. There we go. There's how we do question number five.